If you're like me, you've probably noticed a lot more Tesla vehicles on the road these days compared to just a few years ago. And although Tesla is one of the youngest car makers, they have quickly become an industry leader. And in 2021, Tesla became the most valuable car company in the world. And they had the top two best-selling electric vehicles globally as they quickly approached the milestone of delivering 1 million vehicles in a single year. And there's no slowing down in 2022. I've been a satisfied Tesla owner for nearly four years, so if you're planning on buying a Tesla or just want to learn more about them, this buyer's guide will cover everything you need to know about Tesla vehicles to help you decide which one is best for you. Now, heading into 2022, there are currently four Tesla vehicles that are being manufactured and delivered. The Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, which of course spells sexy. Yes, it took 10 years and a whole lot of money for them to accomplish that joke. Totally worth it. Also, there are two upcoming vehicles that are slated for either late 2022 or 2023, depending on how quickly Tesla can finalize the factories and supplies. And these are the Cybertruck and the second gen Roadster. And before I go over each of the vehicles individually, I wanna go over what I like to call the three S's that are shared among all Tesla vehicles. The first S is for safety. It may not be obvious, but Tesla as a company has always said safety is their number one priority, and they've proven it by engineering their vehicles to be the safest in the world. Using its all-electric architecture, Tesla vehicles provide a very low probability of rollover risk and occupant injury. In fact, Tesla has achieved five-star safety rating for all its vehicles, but the Model 3 in particular received the lowest probability of injury of all cars that the NHTSA has ever tested. A Tesla's battery pack position and weight reduces rollover risk and improves emergency avoidance handling. Their patented side sill structure supports the chassis to absorb impact energy and protect occupants and battery. The rigid body and fortified battery help to reduce and prevent cabin intrusion, and they have large crumple zones in the front and rear to soften impact. Now, there are eight cameras that provide 360 degrees of visibility, while 12 ultrasonic sensors can detect both hard and soft objects. Now, all Teslas come standard with automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, blind spot collision warning, and lane departure avoidance. And if you're worried about fires, here's a fun fact. From 2012 to 2020 in the US, Tesla vehicles were approximately 10 times less likely to catch fire per mile driven compared to the average gasoline vehicle. And in the rare case of damage, Tesla battery packs are designed to spread heat away from the occupant cabin and battery, helping to prevent fires and protect occupants. Now the next S is for software. Uh, paired with a powerful onboard computer, Tesla's software is the core of their vehicles and allows them to stay at the cutting edge of car technology. All their vehicles come with a center-mounted touchscreen that controls nearly all aspects of the car, and Tesla owners can use the free mobile app to control certain functions of the car from wherever they are since all Tesla vehicles come with built-in LTE cellular connection that maintains a constant connection to the internet. Unfortunately, Teslas do not have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, unlike many other new cars. Instead, Tesla decided to build their own vehicle software so that they have more control over the user interfaces and how they integrate with the hardware. Now, although something like Apple CarPlay would be handy at times, Tesla software is very easy to use and has pretty much everything you need. Each new vehicle comes with 30 days of complimentary premium connectivity, which includes live traffic visualization, satellite view maps, video streaming, allowing access to content from Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Twitch, and more, music streaming, and an internet browser. Now, if you want to continue to have premium connectivity features, it costs $10 a month. However, if you are okay with streaming music from your phone via Bluetooth and you don't want video streaming apps, then you can get by just fine without premium connectivity. Now, the cool part is Tesla releases software updates pretty frequently that automatically get downloaded to the car, so it essentially gets better over time for free. And Tesla's best software though is Autopilot, which is Tesla's advanced safety and convenience features that are designed to assist you with the most burdensome parts of driving and come standard with all Tesla vehicles. Now, Autopilot enables your car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically within its lane. And for a one-time fee of $10,000 or for $199 a month, you can get access to full self-driving capability, which adds more features like auto lane change, auto park, summon, navigate on autopilot, auto steer on city streets, and traffic and stop sign control, along with any other future features that Tesla adds up to the point of full autonomy. Now, for most people, standard autopilot is enough to enjoy the useful driver assistance features without paying $10,000 for features that probably won't get used very much in its current state. 
Today's sponsor is the Roborock H7, a versatile and high-tech cordless vacuum that comes with six different accessory options that make it effortless to interchange based on your cleaning needs. At just 3.2 pounds, it is lightweight and easy to lift to reach high or tricky areas. Featuring a large battery, the H7 can clean for up to 90 minutes in eco mode, and it can be fully charged in just two and a half hours. The OLED screen gives a convenient way to check the current cleaning mode and remaining battery life. It features an ergonomic handle with the ability to squeeze the trigger manually, or if you are going to clean for a long time, you can activate the trigger lock feature using the side button. With 480 watts of power that generates extreme suction, the H7 can easily lift dirt from floors and reach deep into carpets, mattresses, sofas, corners, and more. You can also place it anywhere without worrying thanks to the child lock feature that prevents accidental use. It also includes a large 500 milliliter dustbin for less frequent emptying. It has five layer air filtration and uses multiple cyclones plus its HEPA filter to keep pollutants and allergens at bay. And when cleaning different surfaces, it automatically boosts suction power when it detects carpet. It also comes with a magnetic easy store system that allows you to quickly connect all the accessories at once for simple storage. And the H7 with its various accessories is actually the perfect interior cleaning tool for my Tesla. Click the link in the description below to check out the Roborock H7 for yourself. Now the last S is for so much better than gas cars. Seriously, they, they are. Driving an all electric car like a Tesla has many advantages, including front trunks that add more storage space, no more stopping at gas stations, no more oil changes, running on electricity that is usually much cheaper than gas, less maintenance due to fewer moving parts, a very quiet drive due to the lack of rattling engine, and instant torque that leads to quick acceleration. And for charging, Teslas come with a mobile charger that can charge on a regular outlet, but you'll probably want to have a dedicated charge port like a NEMA 1450 outlet, for example, to charge at a faster rate. But whatever you choose, one of the best parts of owning a Tesla is charging at home overnight while you sleep, so you could always wake up to a 90% charge for daily driving. And on road trips, Tesla's onboard navigation will automatically guide you to the supercharger stations along your route, which can charge a Tesla at rates up to 1,000 miles per hour, and it's usually always cheaper than the cost of gas. At a V3 supercharger rate, a long-range Model 3 operating at peak efficiency can regain up to 75 miles of charge in just five minutes. Now, ever since owning my Model 3, I don't think I could ever go back to a gas car. Now let's go over each Tesla vehicle and what their options are for 2022, but there are a few things to note. First, all Tesla vehicles require a $1,200 destination fee, which isn't part of the display price, so as I go along, I'll add that to the starting prices for a more accurate final cost. And there's also a new potential EV tax credit that has not been passed into law yet, but if passed, it could mean a credit of $8,000 or $10,000 for certain Tesla vehicles. Be sure to subscribe to see the latest on the tax credit, but for now, I'll go over the current pricing, not counting any tax credit. And all four of Tesla's current vehicles require a non-refundable order fee of $250. Also, Tesla is in the process of scaling production of their new breakthrough battery that they announced in 2020, which will have five times the storage capacity of current Tesla battery packs and will cost 50% less to build. Now, these batteries will most likely go into all of their vehicles at some point, but we don't know when or how it will impact the prices. So my advice for people is to wait as long as you can if you don't absolutely need a new car right now, but if you need a car and have the budget for it, then go for it because a Tesla, even with the current battery cell, is still a fantastic car. Lastly, keep in mind, Tesla loves to change pricing and options at any moment, so be sure to check Tesla's website for the most up-to-date pricing and options. The Model 3 is Tesla's smallest and most affordable vehicle. It's a sporty four-door sedan, and it's the only current Tesla that comes in a single-motor, rear-wheel drive option that starts at 46,190 with 272 miles of range and a 0-60 to speed of 5.8 seconds, which is Tesla's slowest acceleration. Now, the dual motor all wheel drive Model 3 comes in two variants long range, starting at 52,190, which has the most range for any Model 3 variant at 358 miles and a 0 to 60 speed of 4.2 seconds, while the Performance Model 3 starts at 6190 with a range of 315 miles and the fastest acceleration of any Model 3, going 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Now, a Performance Model 3 comes with the Performance Upgrade Package, which includes 20-inch Uber Turbine wheels, Performance Brakes, Carbon Fiber Spoiler, Aluminum Alloy Pedals, and Lowered Suspension. And all non-Performance Model 3s come with 18-inch Aero wheels included, or can be upgraded to 19-inch Sport wheels for $1,500. But the larger wheels will slightly decrease the estimated range, so for me, 
I have the 18 inch arrow wheels on my Model 3 to maximize range and usually always recommend them to people buying a Model 3, but if you absolutely hate the way the arrow wheels look, 19 inch sport wheels are fine and are a huge deal breaker for range. Now there are two free paint colors to choose from, pearl white multi-coat or midnight silver metallic. And premium paints include deep blue metallic, solid black, and red multi-coat, which will cost $1,000 to $2,000 depending on the color. I have a red Model 3 and it's absolutely gorgeous because it changes shade depending on the lighting, but when I got my car, white was not a free color. And if I bought one today, I'd probably stick with the white because the white Model 3 with aero wheels is not only the most affordable, but I honestly think it looks the best. Every time my wife sees a white Model 3, she wants one. <laughs> All interiors include an expansive tinted glass roof with ultraviolet and infrared protection, a 15 inch landscape touchscreen display, integrated center console with deep storage and wireless charger that can charge two phones at the same time, two front and two rear USB-C charging ports, all vegan interior, premium audio system with 14 speakers, one subwoofer, two amps, and immersive sound, Bluetooth integration, USB port in the glove box with a 128 gigabyte portable storage device included for automatic dash cam and sentry mode video recording, power adjustable front seats, heated front and rear seats, heated steering wheel, and all black interior with a wood veneer dash comes standard, or you can upgrade to a black and white interior for $1,000. Now I chose black interior because I didn't want to spend extra money for seats that are usually harder to keep clean. Plus the white seats remind me too much of Baymax from Big Hero 6, which is actually kind of cool. So hey, if you like them, get them. Uh, I'll also link to my favorite Tesla accessories and cleaning products in the description below. Now all new Model 3s come with an automatic trunk and black trim. So the Model 3 is probably the best bang for buck Tesla. I've owned mine for almost four years and it's been absolutely fantastic. For a relatively low price, you can get an awesome estimated range of over 350 miles. It's sporty, sits low to the ground and a ton of fun to drive, but it also is the smallest Tesla and is not ideal if you plan to carry a lot of cargo or passengers or if you have a growing family. Now the Model Y is Tesla's most affordable SUV and is basically just a larger version of the Model 3, but with a hatchback instead of a trunk. In fact, the Model Y and Model 3 share about 75% of the same parts. Now the Model Y comes in two variants, both of which are dual motor all wheel drive. The long range Model Y starts at 6190 with a range of 330 miles and a zero to 60 speed of 4.8 seconds, while the performance version starts at 65190 with a range of 303 miles and zero to 60 speed of 3.5 seconds and comes with the performance upgrade package, which includes an increased top speed, 21 inch Uber turbine wheels, performance brakes, lowered suspension and aluminum alloy pedals. Now the long range Model Y comes with 19 inch Gemini wheels, or 20 inch induction wheels for $2,000 extra, which will decrease the estimated range slightly to 318 miles. Now the paint options and prices are the same as the Model 3. White and silver are free, while blue, black, and red will cost you extra. Now an optional tow hitch costs $1,000, but I honestly will just get this from a third party like Tesla Roddy for under $400 if you don't mind installing it yourself. And the interior features and options are pretty much the exact same as the Model 3 with the option of the standard black interior or upgraded black and white interior, but the Model Y has one more extra option for seating. It comes standard with a five seat interior, but can be upgraded to seven seats, which includes third row seating for two, easy entry into the third row, third row USB-C charging, sliding second row with adjustable seat backs, fold flat second and third rows for maximum cargo storage and electronic fold flat releases in trunk. Now I've never seen the seven seater in person, but from the looks of it, the third row is very small. So don't expect to comfortably sit two full size adults back there. The five seater Model Y is the more popular option. Now the Model Y is projected to become Tesla's best selling car overall, given that hatchback SUVs are so popular these days. And rightfully so, it has a lot to like. Long range, quick performance, all wheel drive, and much more room for cargo and passengers compared to the Model 3. Now I don't own one yet, but I spent a week with one last year and I enjoyed sitting up higher with a better vantage point compared to my Model 3. And I love the automatic hatchback and folding seats. It's definitely Tesla's best overall vehicle that will be adequate enough for a family without breaking the bank. And I actually have one on order for my wife. So if we go through with the purchase, I'll be doing a full review of the 2022 Model Y. So be subscribed for that. Now next up are the Model S and Model X, which I'll talk about together since they share many features and since they have a smaller customer base given their prices start around six figures. 
Now the Model S is Tesla's flagship vehicle. It's a powerful, sleek four-door sedan that has the longest range and quickest acceleration of any electric vehicle in production right now. Now the Model X is Tesla's high-performing SUV with the most power and quickest acceleration of any SUV on the market. Now they both are all-wheel drive with automatic hatchbacks, but the Model X has Falcon wing style doors that open upward, which is definitely not for everyone. And they both have the same brand new redesigned interior with a 17 inch cinematic landscape display, ventilated and heated seats, tri-zone temperature controls, and a HEPA filter. They have in-car gaming with up to 10 teraflops of processing power and wireless controller compatibility, multi-device Bluetooth, wireless and USB-C charging for every passenger, and Tesla's best audio system to date, including 22 speakers with active road noise reduction. And both 2022 versions of the S and X come with the most controversial feature, the new steering yoke, which has replaced a normal steering wheel. It's definitely something that you should be aware of because even though people who have driven it say they get used to it after a while, it's still a new way of driving and turning the wheel that not all people want in a car that they just spent $100,000 on. Now, the steering yoke also has touch capacitive buttons for turn signals, so that's another new learning curve to overcome with these vehicles. Now, the Model S is built for speed and range and claims to have the lowest drag coefficient on earth and can still seat up to five adults with fold flat seats, while the Model X has the most storage space and towing capacity of any electric SUV with seating up to seven adults. Now, both Model S and Model X come in two variants, dual motor or tri-motor. Now, the dual motor Model S starts at 96,190 with the most range of any Tesla right now at 405 miles in a 0 to 60 speed of 3.1 seconds, which is the same as the Performance Model 3. Now, the tri motor Plaid Model S costs $35,000 more than the dual motor and has a range of 396 miles and the quickest 0 to 60 speed of any current Tesla at 1.99 seconds. Now, both Model S versions come with 19-inch Tempest wheels included, or you can upgrade to 21-inch Arachnid wheels for $4,500, which decreases the range slightly. Now, switching over to the Model X, the dual-motor Model X starts at 106,190 with a range of 351 miles and a 0-60 to speed of 3.8 seconds, while the tri-motor Plaid Model X costs $15,000 more and has a range of 335 miles with a 0-60 to speed of 2.5 seconds. The Model X comes with 20-inch Cyberstream wheels included, but can be upgraded to 22-inch turbine wheels for $5,500, which slightly decreases the range. Now, for the Model S and X, white is the only free paint color, while black, silver, and blue are $1,500, and red is the most expensive paint at $2,500. The interiors come in black as standard, but can be upgraded to white or cream for $2,000. The Model X comes with five seats standard, but can be upgraded to six for $6,500 or seven for $3,500. And no, you didn't hear that wrong. The seven seater Model X is cheaper than the six seater Model X. And adding seats does decrease the estimated range slightly. Now the Model S and X are extremely expensive, but they are the best vehicles that Tesla currently offers. I spent a full day driving a Tesla Model S Plaid earlier this year and it took my breath away, literally. It's stupid fast, the most luxurious Tesla I've ever been in, and the new interior is so much better than the old one that they had for years. The storage space, the head and leg room, and seat comfort were superior to my Model 3 in every way. However, I wasn't a big fan of the yoke, but again, I only had it for a day, so I didn't have enough time to get used to it. If you have the money for the Model S, it's an insane car and you'll have a blast driving it. And it's also very useful. Now when comparing it with the Model X, I would choose the S nine times out of 10. I never liked the look of the X and I honestly hate the Falcon wing doors. They're, they're too gimmicky and add complexity to the car. And it's just so dang expensive. Now, the only time I could see a Model X being a good fit is for a family who needs the most room and can't get by with a Model Y or Model S. Now, the last two vehicles are the Cybertruck and Roadster, and these are not in production yet, and we don't really know when they will start deliveries. Cybertruck is a futuristic truck with a stainless steel exoskeleton and will have a ton of cool features like Tesla armor glass, up to 3,500 pounds of payload capacity, adjustable air suspension, 100 cubic feet of exterior lockable storage, 17-inch center-mounted touchscreen, and seating up to six people. It was first announced at starting around $40,000 for single motor, $50,000 for dual motor, and $70,000 for tri-motor, but recently Tesla has removed these configurations on their website, and there's a rumor that Tesla will only offer dual motor or quad motor, which we have no idea what the pricing will be if it's any different. 
Now, I highly doubt these prices stay the same as when they first announced it over two years ago, but we'll just have to wait and see. And if they actually deliver this truck at a similar price to what they originally announced it, it'll be one of the most useful and powerful trucks for the money that you can get right now. You can place an order for $100, which is fully refundable, but the details are vague and just says you will be able to complete your configuration as production nears in 2022. Finally, the second gen Roadster, which Elon calls dessert because Tesla is focused on ramping up the other vehicles first before they start delivering this. Uh, this is last on the priority list for them, but when it actually gets here, it will be the most insane car, electric or not. Tesla claims it will be the quickest car in the world with a zero to 60 speed of 1.9 seconds and a range of 620 miles, which would be the longest range Tesla ever. It's a two door supercar, but will have a small back seat that can probably fit kids or small adults. It has a removable glass roof that stores in the trunk, an all new interior with a curved portrait touchscreen for controls, and it only comes in an all wheel drive tri-motor version. It's crazy because the second generation Roadster was officially unveiled over four years ago and most likely won't ship until 2023, so it'll be nearly six years later. So the final version that actually ships may be different, and it's going to cost you if you want one of these. The base starts at a cool $200,000, and if you want a Founder Series, it'll cost an additional $50,000. I was lucky enough to earn two of these roadsters through the referral program. If you want to see how I did that, I made a video about my journey and my plan is to keep one and sell one. So if you want to see my videos about the new roadster when I get it, uh, be sure to subscribe because I plan on having a ton of fun with that. I hope this video helps you understand the 2022 Tesla vehicle lineup. I'm so excited to see what is in store for Tesla in 2022. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and let me know which Tesla you are getting. I'd love to hear from you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. My name is Andy. I'll talk to you in the next one.